Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. This time we have the Become a Bard mod. As the name suggests, this is a mod that lets you play as a bard, giving you the ability to play a variety of instruments and sing a bunch of songs. The way it works is extremely simple. You can essentially just pick up any instrument and play by using a new power. By default, you have a few different songs for each instrument, and as you probably know, the three main instruments are the lute, the drums, and the flute. There's quite a few other mods that add similar features to the game, but what makes this particular mod stand out is the extra added depth. On top of the dozen or so default songs, you can also unlock over 100 new songs added to the game. These can be bought in the form of songbooks from Viamo, also known as the Leader of the Bards College. There's a huge variety of music, from remix songs from Skyrim's soundtrack to songs from Morrowind, Cyrodiil, Valenwood and more. There's music from about 30 different artists, all of which are linked on the mod page if you're interested in hearing some more of their music. You can also add your own music too, but I'll get into that later. You can play music anywhere, whether it's around a campfire for the amusement of your followers or at an inn for everyone to hear. Thanks to the latest patch you can now combine all of the songs into a single power, which opens a new menu thanks to the UI extensions mod. From here you can select any piece of music and it beats the old system where you have to dig through the pages of menus to find what you wanted to play. Being a bard is an actual skill and as such your player has a skill level that you can see in the mod menu. Your barding skills will improve as you play and impress audiences, and depending on your skill level a variety of things will happen. The most obvious is that your audience will respond better to your music, so when you're a beginner you'll receive a mild applause, but when you're more talented and well known you'll receive a more hearty response. If you talk to an innkeeper you can also gather some tips while you play, and of course the more talented you are the more tips you'll receive. Just be sure to collect your tips after you're done, it also comes with a free room for the night too. An NPC's reaction to your music goes even deeper, for example playing music for someone will increase your relationship with them. So you could use it to cheer up a friend after they've been through some tough times, or potentially attract a husband or wife through your music alone. On top of that, playing music that's related to either one of the two major factions in the Civil War is a risky move. If members of either faction hears music that goes against them, or that supports the enemy, they'll see you as a potential threat. If you head into the mod menu you can also make NPCs dance along while you play, but by default the feature is disabled. As you play you'll also unlock bard perks. These aren't actual perks as you normally know them, and in fact the mod is compatible with all other skill or perk related mods. Instead you can think of these perks as small buffs that enhance your barding rewards. So you'll go from experienced, to well known, and then finally a renowned bard, with each perk increasing the amount of tips you earn when playing at inns. When you become an experienced bard you'll also unlock the ability to play for yarls. Depending on your skill they may or may not like your music, if they do then they won't pay gold but instead gift you with a random enchanted item. You can also have bard followers by simply setting them as a bard in the mod menu. That's great because some of the new music clearly involves two or more instruments, and now you can have your followers play along when necessary. A bard can also use their powerful voice in battle by using one of the war horns to frighten any nearby enemies. There's horns for the Imperials and the Stormcloaks and they both seem to enact fear, but we think it'd be better if one scared enemies while the other buffed your followers and get them ready to battle. Or maybe the horns could even summon the help of nearby soldiers. You'd probably have to limit it to once every 24 hours and maybe only for experienced bards, but it'd still be an interesting feature. As I said earlier, the mod also gives you the ability to add custom music to the game. So if you're talented with the guitar, drums or flute then you can have your character play your own music in the game, which is a pretty cool feature. Adding the music is relatively simple and just involves converting your music files into another file type and then extracting it to your Skyrim folder. Then you just need to rename it and you're done, so it shouldn't take longer than 2 minutes once you already have your music. And that's pretty much everything you need to know. The mod expands on the Bard College questline, but the author would prefer if we kept that spoiler free. Once you've played through the questline and have a high Bard level, Vyamo should get in contact with you for some extra work. So keep an eye out for the courier once you reach that point. During the video we also walked around with a wearable loot, and that's added by the mod too. You can craft one at any forge and it equips on your back just like a bunch of arrows. Overall this is an older mod that recently got updated to include the new menus and other optimization features. It's a fantastic mod for role playing and fleshes out barding to the point where it's a solid feature and actually worth investing time into. The hundreds of songs add hours of music to the game, and the ability to add your own means the amount of content is endless. If you're interested in giving it a go then we definitely recommend you do. Everything you need can be found down below, and as always, thanks for watching.